There are a lot of great videos that talk about uh, essential keyboard shortcuts in DaVinci Resolve. Donna Did It had a great video about getting up to speed with some of the essential keyboard shortcuts. And more recently, Mr. Alex Tech had a phenomenal video all about how powerful the Alt key is in uh, powering up all those keyboard shortcuts. So lots of people have talked about keyboard shortcuts that you should learn, but today I wanna to talk about keyboard shortcuts that you need to change. I picked these up a while ago from friend of the channel, Casey Ferris, in a video he did with brand new beginners, and it instantly helped me out, so I'm excited to share them with you today. It's gonna to be a quick video, but hopefully super useful. Okay, we are here in DaVinci Resolve on the edit page, and I'm gonna to come up to DaVinci Resolve, keyboard customization. And here we have the master control for key bindings and changing those key bindings, it's great. If you've never messed around with these, um, you can quickly click on any key to see what commands pop up either across the application or on any specific page. And you can include modifiers like shift or control or alt, or you could look specifically through a function over here. And that's what we are going to do. Now we are going to be changing the key bindings for three specific controls, split clip, trim end, and trim beginning. So I'm gonna start by coming over to the search bar and just searching split. And you'll see that by default, this is a control backslash, which does not seem super convenient. So I'm going to click on this to cross that out, select this box and just click S. Now, if you are in the default DaVinci Resolve key bindings here, this will tell you that this is already assigned to another option, this trim toggle slip slide mode. I don't use that nearly as much, so I'll click assign. And just to remind you of that conflict, it will keep this little error message here but we can also search here for toggle. You see that toggle slip slide mode. This is an option we also have here right above the timeline. So I am okay to remove this keystroke. If this is a function you use all the time, you can always keep this and change the uh, split clip key bind. Remember the power of key bindings is that you can make them work for you. But I don't use this. I am okay to clear that keystroke. And the next thing I am going to search is for Trim, and we are looking at trim end and trim start. Trim start, I am changing to Q. This has a conflict, but we are okay to assign that there. And trim end, I am changing to E, which has trim extend edit. I will assign that as well. And then to track down what those were, if I come to, I can search extend edit, I will either disable that or pick a different key. And for Q, that source timeline viewer, I will pick a different key or just disable that, click save. Now when you go to save, if, if you are modifying these keyboard shortcuts for the first time, when you go to save, you will get this pop-up to save. So I'm just gonna call this DaVinci Resolve 2. I can click OK. If I close out of this, now those modifications are complete. Okay, time to show off what this actually does. Here I have some footage from a past tutorial I recorded, and you can see very clearly when I stop talking. And there are some obvious major gaps in the content here. Now, I'll likely do multiple passes on this, finding the best take if I have to repeat myself, but if I wanna start by just cutting out these big gaps, watch what these new keyboard shortcuts enable me to do. I can just grab my playhead up here and start trimming. And when I get to any of these gaps, I can just tap S and it lays down a cut right where the playhead is. I can drag the playhead forward. When I get to the end of this gap, I can just click Q and it trims and creates that gap. If I was functioning the opposite way, if I wanted to start at a different point, um, at the beginning of the gap, I could press S to do that, come back, then press E to close that gap as well. And this can layer on top of some other cool functionality, like the trim mode. If you are coming from Premiere Pro, the default key binding for this trim start or end auto trims the entire clip. It moves it with that. And if we are in trim edit mode, which I can enable by pressing this button or just clicking T, if I were to come to a different gap and just press S to split that clip, then come here to where I start again. When I click Q, it will trim that clip, but then shuffle this clip back so there is no gap. This is totally up to you, it's your preference. If you have other assets already on the timeline, then you might not want to dynamically uh, slip that clip and all the other clips along with it. But even if you are only dealing with one clip and you are not in that trim mode, you can always very quickly cut out a lot of these gaps, especially if you are watching through some of this content and you know like there's just a bad take in there, you can get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that, all of this. And then you can leverage something like another key binding, control delete, hey, I just found out another keyboard shortcut that I use all the time that I thought was default, but turns out I changed it previously. Check this out. Back in the keyboard customization, this delete gaps option. By default, there is no keyboard shortcut for this. But I said this as a little control delete, save, 
close. And then now if you want through, like I just did, cutting all these small gaps out, then if you just have nothing selected, hey, control delete cuts out all of the gaps. Especially if you work in passes like I do and you just wanna go through, watch your content, do some quick cuts, get rid of all that fluff so you can look at what is actually in your video. This is a super useful way to do it. You can either work in that trim mode and use these shortcuts to delete those gaps as you go, or just very quickly create those gaps and then delete them all at once. I was honestly super slow to jump on keyboard shortcuts generally. Leveraging keyboard shortcuts like this that let you do so much with your left hand while your mouse is used for quick navigation, especially sort of dynamic scrubbing like this, I really think it is the fastest way to edit. But that's all, I just wanted to pass on some of these super useful custom key bindings that I learned from a fellow creator and that I use all the time. I know these will be useful to a lot of you. If you want more Resolve stuff, that's what I do. You can click around, you can see some of that. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.